Alright, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to install mods on Command & Conquer Rivals for Android and Bluestacks. This is currently Bluestacks X that I'm using, but it works on many of the other versions of Bluestacks that are still popular today. And it also works on Android, Samsung S21, which I have and tested it on them as well. So first thing we need to do is we need to go and get us some mods. So to do that, I'm going to navigate to Google Chrome and I'm going to go to DevoOnline.com. Take note that there's two O's next to each other. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and view the form. Once I'm here, I'm going to scroll down until I see the Jade quick access button and I'm going to click on that. Get past the ad. Hey, we all got to make money, right? And I'm going to go down and take a look at some of the mods in the topic section. So, taking a look at this, we see that we have three to choose from right now. We have the Shadow mod, the Rainbow mod, and the Rainbow mod for both factions, Nod and GDI. Uh, one thing I didn't think of when doing the Shadow mod was splitting it up per team. Um, but that's what I did for the Rainbow mod. And we're just going to go through each one of these three and uh, try to install each one real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the shadow mod. I'm gonna scroll down till I see the download link. I have some videos if you wanna check them out before downloading them. Uh, but right here where it says download here, notice the file extension .rar. This is what we wanna click on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm gonna let it download. Uh, once it says I can open, I know that it's downloaded, but I'm gonna just click the X. So in order for us to unpack this file and put it in our game, we need to install an app real quick. So I'm gonna quickly go to the Play Store, download RAR, and install it. Once it's installed, I'm gonna open it and full screen it. I'm going to allow access to my media and my files and I'm going to dismiss the support button that pops up here. So we need to find our download and typically it downloads in the folder called download. So I'm gonna click on this folder and I can confirm that by seeing my mod here. All right, now if I long press on this, hold my finger down or just hold down on this file, we want to go to extract files. We do not want to extract it here. We do not want to extract it in this folder we want to extract files. So I click on that and we need to get it in our game folder. Um, thankfully we hit the browse button and right now we can see our current location right here. It's storage emulated zero download. In some cases you might see it say internal storage download, um, but just kind of make note of where you are. So our folders are very close to each other. All we have to do is go up one level Notice that the download button animated to let us know that's where we came from. And we're going to go to Android, then data. And you can see up here as our directories change, it keeps track. And then we want to go to CNC War Zones. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Once we're in that folder, we just simply press OK. This is where our files are going to be placed for each and every mod that we install. Do make note that we want to overwrite without prompt. We don't want to be asked for the numerous files that are going to be changed, so we're just going to have it overwrite every single time. Once we have that set, we're going to go ahead and press OK. And that's it. Currently, the shadow mod is installed. Um, all I need to do is go back home and view our game. So we go ahead and click on Rivals. And the first time we launch it, we know it works when we see the splash screen with the shadow mod uh, image right here. So the game launches, we have that in place. We can see that it works. Sadly, this, the next time we launch the game, that is going to be replaced with the default one. But it's cool that another very first time that you install it, that it is going to work. Uh, I can quickly go to my match history, pull up a replay. We'll go with this one right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we can just make sure that our mod is indeed working.
as we can see with the darker harvester and a darker base this is definitely working let's go ahead and 4x real quick we have a dark set of mgs the wheels look a bit different jump jets definitely have a different look to them and i actually like this this is definitely one of my favorite of all the skins that i've been able to play with um it's just a nice shadow texture on top of all the units uh hard to tell with nod but some things like the can buggy here you can definitely tell so all right so we're gonna go ahead and exit this and we're gonna go and install the other two mods when we get towards the end of this i'll definitely show you how to remove these if that is something you do not want in the long run so we're gonna go ahead and go back to chrome and we're gonna hit the back button we're gonna get us a different mod we're gonna go with the rainbow nod who doesn't like a good rainbow nod? So we're gonna go down to our download link and we're gonna click on this one here. Notice the file extension, .rar. We'll download that one. And we can go back to home and open up RAR. So if we're still here, we are still in our last directory, which is the game directory. We need to navigate back to the downloads folder. So we go up a directory up another directory and up a third directory back to our download folder once in here i can click on rainbow nod same thing we want to extract files we're going to overwrite without prompt just go ahead and replace these shadow files with our new rainbow files hit the browse button go back to our game folder as we were in download so we're going to go back to android data cnc war zones and just press ok Make sure we're overwrite again, hit OK. So at this point, um, we have installed the Nod Rainbow mod. We can go ahead and go back to our game and we should notice a difference. Now make sure that when you do this, you look at your recently opened files and make sure Rivals is closed. Okay, so um, we want to get a fresh launch for the new files to take place. Like I said, the, um, the splash screen is going to place back to the default one. There's nothing I can do about that. The game doesn't like files being modified, I guess. So it's going to replace back to some things. Thankfully, our uh, custom skins hang in there, you know. So again, we're just going to go to match history. Try and find us a quick nod match. One that I haven't shown. This looks like a good one. It's definitely got some nod, we got some GDI. So we should have a shadow GDI and a rainbow nod from this outtake. As you can see, the nod construction yard comes rolling in, transforms, and we have the big, big rainbow. Uh, we still have our shadow dogs over here, and we're just kind of run through this a little bit and look at some of the units. Missile troopers looking great with those pinkish bazookas. I think my favorite is when the bikes come in. If you take a look at the bike wheels when they get to it, they uh, definitely, definitely change those colors as they go through. It's pretty cool. Um, again, just love that shadow mod a lot better. I do love these drones. Uh, just everything about that. I think they really look cool like that. Uh, thankfully, we have the title bars. All those scarabs loving that too. <laughs> Alright, so. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and do the last one, the GDI Rainbow, and get that up into this game. So, quickly go back to Chrome, go back one more time, and get our next mod. Oh, look at this. Who owns this site? This is very awful. Let's refresh. Let's get that ad out of the way. And go to GDI Mod. Same thing as before. Hope you like my pictures and my videos. But we're going to download the .rar file one last time. And then we're going to go back to our RAR program. We are in the game directory. Let's go up a level, up a level, up a level to our download folder. This time we want Rainbow GDI. Extract files with the three dots behind it. Overwrite. And then hit browse. We can go back to our game folder in the Android data war zones area. And once we're in here, we go ahead and press OK and OK again. 
and that's it you should have your mods installed in this case we'll do one last check uh, I do want to reclose this game just to make sure that everything ooh, excuse me goes right we'll go ahead and check out one last replay sure if we have a delay in the game loading up or if it's just taking a moment there we go good old rivals all right so one last replay let's see if we can get us a match history with some mixed teams here and this looks like us at the very bottom everything should be rainbowed out in this case and we'll know that our mods have successfully installed there we go we have our rainbow gdi on the left a rainbow nod on the right. Let's do a quick forward to admire the beauty. I do like the beauty in those wheels too. That's pretty awesome. It's just like a colorful paint palette. Like everything just got paint buckets spilled. It's artistic. Looks great. Oh yeah, how can you not like that? It's great. Great paint effect. Alright, so one last thing I do want to showcase is how to remove these mods. Let's say you just don't want them. You're tired of the rainbows, tired of shadows, tired of the uh, different things. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go back home. And the easiest thing for me was to just go get um, one last app called Files by Google. And it is not Dropbox, but this one here install this one i think this was the easiest for me to deal with open that up um files yes continue allow and we go to our internal storage down below click on that and we go to our android data war zones folder and i'm going to delete these first three folders so i'm going to get rid of these here and by deleting those, that'll trigger the game to um, reinstall the default files. So next time I launch Rivals, oh, as I said, we do need to close it fully out, launch it again, and it'll prompt us to download the update for the 120 megabytes or whatever it is that we always see. Yep. Gonna let that do its thing. And once this completes, we'll do one last run where we can make sure that everything has gone back to the default look. clear of any installations from a mod. Sorry for any background noises, we do have dogs. I don't think this ever reaches 100. I think we're good to go. About to check it out. load up let's see let's do something from some professionals let's find us a mixed match
yep, we can confirm that that took care of any modifications and reset us back to normal. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and get you some mods that you need. So let me know. Leave some comments. Like, subscribe, whatever it takes. Sign up on my site. Come drop me a message. I love to talk.